our football team, but I think our whole school, you know, is homecoming, and, and uh, it's something that I think we all desperately needed. So we're very happy about that. I thought our guys played hard. We got in a you know, situation there late where, uh, you know, we would like to put it out of hand. If we could have made a first down offensively, we, we didn't do it, couldn't do it. So we got an idea where, uh, you know, we had to wait to the end to win it. I thought our defense did a good job. And, putting pressure on the quarterback and, and uh, you know, making it happen for us. So we're excited about that. But like always, you got to put that one behind you and move on to the next one. Uh, I think the University of Houston is an outstanding football team, particularly offensively. They have as more speed than anybody I've seen in a while. Uh, their, their receiving core and, and their running backs, uh, they can fly. I mean, they can they can really run, and so that's something that we're going to have to work awfully hard to, to guard against. Uh, they they're, do an excellent job offensively, uh, mixing things up with the run and the pass. They're not like Tulsa, but there there are some similarities. There's not as much formation and whatnot, but there are some similarities in some of the things that they do. Uh, you know, they have the ability to go at a fast-paced offense. With, Defensively, we have to make sure we're ready to, to combat that. But uh, the thing that scares most about Houston is their speed offensively. Defensively, um, you know, they do an excellent job of bringing the zone blitzes. Their defensive line, again, has a lot of speed. They're, 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 you know, they run, their defensive line is better than anybody, again, I've seen in the team. They may not as physical as those two, but, but as far as guys that can run, they can, uh, they can really run. They, and like I said, they do a good job bring the zone blitz, and uh, so with the game that we're going to have to make sure we're, we're ready to go. They've got a couple players in particular, uh, number two and number 22. Uh, just talk a little bit about what those guys do and what kind of matchups you have. Right well, you know, we're, we're just kind of getting going on our game plan and whatnot, but it's obvious watching them on film. They, they run by everybody they play against. Uh, you know, you can see against Alabama, East Carolina, Rice, doesn't matter who they play at number two, he just flies by everybody. And uh, same thing with 22 when they get him out in space. Uh, you know, I think, um, you know, there's the speed of those two guys, and they got a couple other guys, but those two in particular, uh, you know, it's kind of scary. Coach, you guys finally finished the game and came out with a win, important win at home. Just talk about that, that mentality. Of Guys, finally, we finish the game. Well, I think it's good. You know, like we talked about in the dressing room after the game, and you know, you like to you like to get ahead and you know, kind of put somebody away early. But the fact that we had to go through the adversity that we went through and still were able to win, I think it was a good sign. I mean, we talked about it. You know, being ahead against Florida State, Mississippi State, and you know, uh, getting close to Tulsa and not finishing the game. And uh, you know, it's always good. I think when you can finish a game and come out victorious the way we did uh, Saturday night against Tulane. Statistically, looking at this team, you guys have been a little bit underwhelming in some of your statistics, but yet you've been in just about every game you've played. Why is that? I think the number one reason is our kicking game, and we do a good, a pretty good job with the turnover margin. We're, uh, you know, our defensive guy, and I don't really know what, what it is right now, but we've We've had some turnovers, uh, a few offensively. Uh, we're probably averaging a little over one a game. I don't know exactly the stat, but uh, I think our turnover margin is really up. And our, our special team, the play of our special team is really up. It's just, I think that was a, the big difference in the ball game Saturday night against Tulane. I mean, they, you know, we had not only had the one uh, kickoff return for a touchdown, but you know, we had several other good returns and good field position. Same thing on punt. Swayze's done a good job of pinning people down inside for the most part. Um, you know, he has been very well up until Tuesday, uh, excuse me, up, up until against Tulane. You know, field goal extra point, of course, he had a couple of hiccups uh, Saturday night. But I think our special team play has really benefited us this year. Well, let's talk about the wide receiver tandem. They haven't played together a lot. Again, the first year with Prince Rell and Joe Webb. They're coming in well, I think, you know, we got another one in Mario Wright, but, uh, you know, we felt like Joe all along, like I said, was uh, one of our, him and Sam both were 
two of our better athletes on the football team, and we made the statement early on that whoever did win this quarterback spot, that we would probably play him at the wideout spot. And, uh, you know, Joe's just too good of an athlete to, to not have on the field. And I think Frank Trill really matured. Uh, you know, we felt like last spring that he had some athletic ability, but, but needed to kind of grow up and, and, and do things the right way, not only on the field, but off the field. And I think he's done that. And then Mario Wright coming in as a true freshman, and you know, Mario is a kind of a mature young man that uh, does a lot of good things. And his size really helps him, but he's a he's a hard worker. So we got some guys that are coming around, and you know the play of Joe, that wide receiver really gives us a mismatch sometimes. You know, with size and athletic ability and the you know, things he can do out there. You had two rushing touchdowns, one by Sam Hunt, one by Terrence Edge. Um, you need more productions from your running back, especially in the red zone? We probably need to get Terrence the ball more, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we do need to score more touchdowns. We really do. Uh, uh, you know, it's frustrating, but uh, uh, but at the same time, you know, we're going to try to be positive and take the good with what we, uh, what we can. Make, and, uh, you know, we, we do need to score more touchdowns, obviously. Does it hurt that you don't have that big back that allows you know that 200 pound plus guy? It, it obviously would help, but you know I've seen a lot of little backs run big. You know you take the guy in Atlanta Falcons right now. He's a uh, uh, work done. He's as physical as you want to play against, and he's no bigger than Rashard Slaughter. Coach, the defense had five sacks in the game, but are you concerned that they gave up so many yards? Five obviously, we talked about that. And, you know we still had some problems with uh, some. Miscommunication, some missed assignments, uh, and missed tackles. Those three things I think are our, our biggest problem. Uh, you know, which are they're, you know they're huge. I mean, we our defensive front and linebackers did a good job getting pressure, but uh, you know, for us to win ball games, giving up that many yards is going to be hard to do. You, you you're kind of at the halfway point in your your first season at UAB. Can you talk a little bit about where where the team, where the program is? Maybe are you a little ahead of where you thought you might be when you think back on it? Or well, you know, I, I do think we've made a lot of progress. I, obviously, I wish we were our record was better. I, I wish we were a better football team. Uh, you know, I know uh, some of the problems we have is, is the lack of uh, talent. I mean, excuse me, not talent, lack of depth. And we're a young football team, and, and those two things are, you know, are, are, are going to be a hindrance. I do think we had some very talented guys, you know, with Sam and Joe and and Fran Trails coming around, and you know Mario Wright and our tight ends. I think we can create some matchups that that help us. But uh, you know, we need to get to, we need to have a couple more good years of recruiting. Uh, we need to make sure that we uh, continue to work hard in the off-season program to get bigger and stronger and then continue what we're doing on the field. And I, I am proud of our guys for the way they play, how hard they play, they compete. Uh, but, you know, we've got to we've got to get better better in, in every area. You guys are a little banged up. Um, defensively, especially Will Dunbar's guy, I think we really would need to have this game. Where is he? And just talk about your injury situation. Uh, we are a banged up football team. Uh, we don't talk a lot about injuries. Uh, but Will should be back this week as far as full speed, best I can tell. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he played most of the game Saturday. I, to my knowledge, uh, didn't come out of it with anything that, you know, any worse. I think he'll be fine. How much better is his team when he's in their playing? Well, he obviously is one of our better football players, so we, we like to have him, that's for sure. Tosh, and is it Tosh or Tash? Tosh, all right. Tosh, Mike's, uh, Mike's a true freshman coming in here. Of course, played at uh, Hoover High School and went to the uh, prep school, Army prep school, and uh, we're very fortunate to have him here. And I think he's, you know, he, he's a guy that has, just has a nose for the football. He, uh, uh, you know, he needs a, he's one of those guys that needs a good all-season program to get in here and get a little bigger and stronger and faster. But uh, does a good job of going, recognizing what's going on and finding the football. And uh, he's been one of our better linebackers and one of our better players on defense. So uh, we're happy to have him here. You've done two games in a row against pretty good defensive lines without giving up a sack. 
Is that surprising? Or can you well, yes, it is a little surprising, but I think it's, um, like I said a couple of weeks ago, it's all inclusive offensively. I think there's been times when, you know, with Sam's done an excellent job of getting rid of the ball. There's been times where our backs have you know, done a good job of blocking. The receivers are being in the right place at the right time. Uh, you know, so we are happy that we haven't given up any more sacks, and, and that is a big plus for our offense, but at the same time, we we got to eliminate uh, Sam getting hit some, and we got to do a better job of running the football for us to be a, an effective offensive football team. But yes, I am happy and proud of our guys uh, for not giving up the sack. And it, but it's it's not just the offensive line; it's everybody. Any final question for Coach? Okay, thanks, Coach.